They're gone. They're already gone. You know what I gotta do? Focus on one. Holy cats. Okay. There's another one. There you go. Alright, we have to make sure we don't have a, a, st a stone crab. Those weird looking things are here too. See them? before everyone shows up. Alright, let's get some fish. Don't go by another. Don't go by another side yet. That's a shame. I should have uh here ready? I should have caught some before before we went out there. Alright that's a good size. Alright here we go. Now I'm wondering if I should get a smaller hook. Here. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come back. He's been spooked now. There he is. Hold on. I'm looking through here so it can't see me. It's really funny because I was fishing and as soon as I backed up and started looking down here, the fish came in. Alright, it's gone now. So it's 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 out here. That's a nice one. It's a legal one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see how I did that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's bigger than yesterday. Oh, is it really? Yeah. There we go. All right, multi-use tool, clam opener, and... Okay, I don't want it, I don't want it to suffer. Right there. I just want to kill it, make sure it's dead. We, they don't have a cutting table, so... Filleting table. So we're gonna do it here. Uh, uh, we'll rinse it off later, right? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. All right, I almost lost that fish and it would have died eventually. Wow, it, it went nuts as soon as I let it go. Hmm. Well, you're gonna rinse it off, right? Yeah. Before you cook it? Yeah. Okay. Big scales, so you gotta cut it kind of in from the back, just to get in. Oh. So, I, I put a, I put my first fish that I caught, or first sheephead, on my Instagram. And somebody said, nice fish. And he said, they're great eating. And I said, uh, I said, yeah, I said my, because I don't eat fish, those of you guys who follow. <laughs> and I said, 
Um, I said, yeah, my brother loves it. But when I, when I uh, caught mine, I could barely feel the bite. And he goes, yeah, sheep said, their bites are like, oh, look at all that blood. We should let it bleed out. Oh, we forgot to let it bleed out. Uh, in other words, the meat's supposed to taste better. I'm gonna try Pete's way of cutting, which is he cuts the rib. But I thought, man, you might get some guts with that. And I don't wanna taint the... All right, let's try it. I need a sharper knife though. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need a sharper knife. Okay, we'll do one side at a time and see. Ah, look at that, I lost that mix. Never pull towards you. Never pull the knife towards you. There you go. All right, Pete, let's see how yours works. Wow, man, look at all that meat. Wow. Okay, ready? So what we should have done is let it bleed out first. Now we got blood everywhere. In other words, too much blood in the meat. Let's cut this guy out. Hmm, I don't know about this. Well, I should say I don't know about this knife. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't finish that story. So, sheep's head bite or nibble is like fish farting. <laughs> In other words, you can barely feel it. Okay, I feel some bones here. You're gonna be, have to be careful. I say you're gonna have to be careful because I don't eat fish. Joe's gonna be eating it. I'll taste it, I'll taste it. Oh, whoa. Oh no. <laughs> Joe, you're gonna rinse this out, right? <laughs> oh, all right. You guys use a fillet table. This is terrible. All right, let's see if I can grab this. I need a big, longer knife for for shape set. Wow, this is terrible. Ah, forget it. Okay, there's one. Okay. All right, make sure you rinse both. Both. Pete said was cut down here. Cut down here, straight across, and cut out, I'll just do it. Cut like that. And what it does is it bleeds out. So the meat is not like this. You don't have blood everywhere. And Pete works at West Marina. And he's, he basically informs people on how to fish there. Um, they sell everything apparently. I've never been there, I don't think. Except for looking for kayak stuff to build. What really helped us catch these babies is Pete. Um, Pete, Pete from West Marina. He gave us a lot of good tips. So uh, a friend, of my, a friend of ours that we met here, uh, right here, he said you put your finger on the line so that you feel it better. So, thanks, guys. So, in other words, the reason. There was this guy we met yesterday, and um, I think I think it was yesterday, and he's never caught a sheep's head, and I think he lives around here. So the reason we were able to catch is we took tips from other people. That's how we caught it. All right, I need a I need a I need at least a cutting board because this is terrible. <laughs> they should put a you know everybody fishes here. They should put a. Uh, a fillet table here. I'm gonna pull it because I don't want to damage this knife on the rocks. I lost a lot of meat. We'll have to get this later. Sorry, buddy. We uh, we killed you and and we lost a lot of the meat here. Get ready, okay. Chuck. I'm gonna rinse this out too. Okay. And let's go. 
Oh man, fish slime. Fish slime everywhere. I want to show you a sure way to get the fish smell out of your hand. Toothpaste. It could be any toothpaste. And it's brilliant, man. Because it's made for teeth, right? Get rid of bad breath. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Ready? Minty fresh. I don't smell any fish whatsoever. All right, we figured out how to catch sheep's head. There's actually a technique. That's interesting. 